Hello there Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I'm doing your weekly tarot reading for the week of October 18th through the 24th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for some more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like sharing or subscribing. Okay, let's get into your reading. Now Capricorn, this is kind of a big week. <laughs> All the planets will now be going direct uh, starting on the 18th so we'll be out of retrograde season and on the 20th we have a full moon in Aries which means we're going to be taking some of mm, our anger our aggressions that are kind of down deep inside and making you know plans for how to move forward it's kind of like taking something that's bothering you down inside um, and moving forward. So we'll see what comes up in your reading. Let's take a look at, oh my goodness, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Yeah, it's um, this energy, especially with this full moon, like putting it out there, like I'm ready to move on. I'm not thinking about this past anymore. And then narrow pathway, a lot of you may feel like you, you know, putting this, whatever this thing is in the past, leaving it in the past and healing your present so you can move forward. You may have to take um, a, a journey for a little while by yourself. Yeah, traveling lightly. You know, like just realizing, you know, I need some, it's not like necessarily leaving everybody behind, but kind of like, okay, I have to spend some time by myself and try to figure out like, where am I going next? Okay, so let's take a look at your oracle cards. Come to the edge, exchanging gifts, message in a bottle. Oh my gosh, 10 of cups, energy, lovely. Ying, yeah, time for a nap. Okay, so you have the 10 of cups, you know, milk and honey, 10 of cups. Everything that you've wished and dreamt for is coming true. The thing that you have to do is come to the edge and take a risk. You have to, you know, if you look at it, it's kind of like you have to leave the past. Like you have to literally jump off the cliff. Metaphorically, please don't jump off a cliff. Um, but you have to jump off this cliff. And when you do, you have to leave the past in the past. There's something about exchanging gifts. Trying to go find more balance in your life. You know, um, taking a look at where you're putting your time and energy and asking yourself, is this bringing me back the same amount of energy? I'm putting all this time and effort into this project, my work, this relationship, my family. But am I getting the same back? And if I'm not, you know, it's about, okay, I'm ready to leave that behind so that I can heal and move forward and find things that are more balanced. And then we have message in a bottle, which to me is always, you know, somebody from the past giving you <laughs> a little message. Um, it could be your intuition. I just got that. It could be your intuition actually kind of like coming in and saying, you know, it's time, Capricorn. And, you know, with this retrograde season, we've all been stuck just ruminating about everything in the past right um but that's good because now it's kind of like it brings up some feelings so that we can say hey wait a minute i'm ready to move on from that yeah that was painful but i'm done with that it's like putting things to an end like yeah can't deal with that anymore okay so let's take a look at your present energy i'm Brez. Oh, Capricorn, really nice. Yeah, I really get the sense that you're trying to create a new life for yourself and you're realizing that you have to leave a lot of people, situations, relationships, whatever, in the past. It's kind of like, yeah, I got to, they are, they are dragging me down. I, I need to travel lightly. Finding sanctuary, this is about you going within. And wise leader, you are a beacon for others. You know, I think you have to go within in order to create what it is that you want out of your own life. Like, I feel like you are building your own life. Like, trying to find your own ten of cups. Um, and realizing, nobody here is helping me, 
to manifest my <laughs> ten of cups. Like I'm just sitting here, and you know, you may be saying to everybody, "Oh, why, why can't I find somebody to love? Why can't I find a job I love? Why can't I find a house I love?" You might be sitting there, kind of in that energy. That would be very much the retrograde energy, and then it's kind of like, "Wait a minute!" Like nobody's in charge of my life except me, and I'm ready to go get my life on the bottom this helps you to heal any past wounds it's like taking your frustrations of the past and using them as fuel to go get the life that you really want what's holding you back queen of swords it, you know this is a sense of determination a sense of cutting out you know the queen of swords is very discerning cuts out anything that is weighing her down you know this traveling lightly cutting out you know hey i'm putting a lot of time and energy into this job they're not paying me enough i'm exhausted okay i'm quitting that job i'm finding another job right or you know uh this house is too big okay maybe you have a house and Maybe all your kids have grown up and moved out and you're kind of like, this house is too big. I don't need this house. It's, it's weighing me down. Or all these things that I have in my house. I don't need all these things. They're weighing me down. It's about cutting out. Now, this is your obstacle. So it's about you needing to cut out things in your life that are just weighing you down. Whether they're people, objects, jobs, situations, relationships. Yeah, taking action. That's your advice. Take action. It's almost as if you've been in an energy of waiting around for this to happen. And it's like the universe is saying, no, Capricorn, come to the edge. There's some good stuff. We have your back. We have your back. Eight of Wands can be this communication from somebody. You might get an offer for like another job or, you know, uh, something Someone's, you know, coming in and taking action or you, for a lot of you, I feel like you're almost sending this message out. And especially, I keep coming back to a job. Like, so if there's something that you want, you really send it out. You say, you know, I'm tired of waiting around. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to send my resume to 10 different companies today, right? I got to get a new job. Or... Say you've been wanting to move. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to hire a realtor to start looking for homes in this new area. You know, or I'm hiring a realtor and putting up my house for sale. You know, it's about taking a specific action and direct action and realizing this is a clear cut decision action to help yourself move forward. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is, Capricorn. Let's see what the outcome is. Ten of Pentacles. And it is so funny because when I was shuffling, they kept drawing me over to this Ten of Cups. It's a long life happiness. It's like you... You're, okay. Merc? Muck. They're saying muck. You're getting out of the muck of your life. You're getting out of the muck. That might be my title. Yeah, you've known all along that this is what you've needed to do. You just haven't had the gumption. Like the eight of wands is like passionate. It's energy. It's action, right? And it's kind of like, that is it. Nobody can create the life that I want for myself except for me. So here I am. I'm going to jump off this cliff. Metaphorically, please. I'm going to jump off this cliff. I'm going to start looking in the direction of the future. I'm not going to think about the past. I'm not going to worry too much about the present. I'm going to put my eye on the future. And if it's not helping me get there, I'm taking my sword and cutting it out. Really interesting. Ooh, I like this reading. It's getting me <laughs> all excited. I'm not a Capricorn. I have a good friend that's a Capricorn. <laughs> All right, Empress. The Wheel, Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Wands. You're deciding what it is that you want. It's kind of like, yeah, I want this wheel to turn in my favor. 
You know, I, for some of you, you may have been like holding on to fears, scrimping, saving. The Wheel of Fortune is about, you know, money coming your way. You're kind of like, yeah, I want more money. I feel for a lot of you, this has something to do with career or money. And, you know, the four of wands is the happy family. You know, you have two fours here. Uh, fours are about stability, trying to get the stability that you want in your life. You know, the empress manifesting exactly what it is that you want. You want this wheel to turn. You are tired of being stuck in the muck. Yeah, you're moving forward. Woo. I'm excited for you, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what this Queen of Swords is. Queen of Cups, oh, the Emperor, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands on the bottom. This could be your message coming in. Uh, let's see what's underneath there. Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're getting victory. When you drop this baggage, when you take out your sword and you cut out everything that is not giving you back the amount of time, energy, and love that you're putting into it, when you cut that out, you're cutting out the baggage, the unnecessary baggage, and you can step into this energy of gaining your power and loving yourself. You've given up your power. You, you're kind of like waiting on somebody to uh, come in and apologize. Maybe the universe. I, I have been reading this card kind of like that lately. Um, it's kind of like you've been waiting for somebody or something to come in and change your life for you. And it's kind of like, no, all of a sudden with this full moon, I think you're kind of like, no, nobody's coming in and saving me. It's about me figuring out where I'm going, cutting out what doesn't work, loving myself, getting my power back and page of cups, putting my love out to the universe. Okay, so let's see what your advice is. I mean, that was your obstacle. You don't have the clarity. You're not taking back your power. Oh, you're about to, though. You're about to take back your power. I love it. Okay, so Eight of Wands. What are you working on or acting on? Yeah, you're trying to, you know, we have the King of Wands on the bottom, so you could be working with... Um, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You don't have to be. But it's about getting on top of this situation. Like taking a look at what your life is right now. And getting really clear about, hey, where am I putting my time and energy? And what am I getting back from it? And then cutting out whatever isn't working anymore. Like just... Just bring down that sword, cutting it out, getting on top of it so that you can, you know, the four of cups is this energy of not being happy with your life. And yet at the same time, not knowing exactly how to move forward, but it is about letting go of the past, right? It was clear the past, heal the present. Like you can't move forward until you heal the present. And the only way you can heal the present is to clear out this past energy. You know, for some of you, I feel like you may need to put this message out either to the world or to people. Kind of like saying, you know, there was a lot of this energy of I got to go do this and I have to do it by myself type of energy. You may just have to say, you know, like maybe to family or friends, hey, I can't spend a lot of time with you. Because I got to go do something. And so, yeah, I love spending a lot of time and energy with you. You you mean a lot to me. But right now, I got to put my time and energy somewhere else. And there's nothing wrong with that when you say it in a loving way. Like, there's something I have to go do. You know, I kind of get like that sometimes. You know, like you have a house project you're trying to get done and... People are like, oh, let's go do this or something. You're like, no, I got to get this done. Sometimes you just have to say, I got to go get this done, whatever it is. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Now, don't forget, we also have the Ten of Cups. Something that is something you love and that is long lasting. Oh, <laughs> oh. okay, 
so, uh, you know, there's a twist to the end of the story. and <laughs> We'll talk about it. Temperance. This is divine. Uh, we have these two very divine, very spiritual. It's taken a long time for it to come, but you've always known it. Sudden epiphany of somebody from the past that is a true soulmate. And it's, you know, I really get the sense I really get the sense that whatever the situation is, whether it's a romantic partner, friends, family, job, whatever it is, it's when you say, I'm done, and this, you know, I'm not saying you, ha for some of you, you may have to say, you know, especially if it's a romantic partner that's been kind of dragging you along, and you say, hey, I'm done with this. Like, I'm not playing these games anymore. You go your way, I go my way. I'm going in a different direction. It's almost as if you have to almost throw down the gauntlet. I think that's the word. Gauntlet. And then this person has this epiphany. No. Okay. This is the person, right? Um, it's almost like when you go in and you, you say, hey, I have another job offer. Bye. Right? Then the uh, your, your boss or whatever says, whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute. Whoa, what? What? And you're like, well, I've been telling you. I'm spending too many hours here. You're working me too hard. And they're kind of like, well, wait a minute. What can we do? How can we change it? We want you to stay. Right? It's as if you've been allowing people or situations to almost walk over you Capricorn like you didn't have the boundaries set and then it's kind of like when you get this Queen of Swords energy and you say I'm not taking this anymore here's the line and you draw a line in the sand it's like all of a sudden the boundaries help you to bring in your happiness your long life happiness I feel like there's some kind of connection here um, romantic connection a, a real true soulmate connection. And it's kind of like you've allowed this person to, to be in your life, but not be in your life. And it's kind of like, no, I'm not, I'm not being in limbo with you anymore. We're either together or we're not. And if we're not, then goodbye. This is the end. I'm jumping off and going in a new direction. And when you do that, it's like, what? I thought you were okay. I thought we were happy. No, you're happy. I'm miserable. Yeah, it's this energy of the other person does not see it in the same perspective as you. They think you're putting on a happy face and you're, oh, Capricorn's unhappy. Like, I don't think that they know how unhappy you are. I think you, you're going to be sitting there saying, no, I've told them. No. Not with the sword. <laughs> Not with the sword. You haven't told them. You haven't told them. You think you, for some of you, you may feel like you have told them, but you, they haven't heard it because you haven't, you haven't spoken with your sword. <laughs> you haven't tried, you haven't cut this out. And when I say cut it out, it's kind of like cut it out, right? I mean, you can't, kind of work at a job you either are at that job or you're not I had this job one time and I quit the job took another job and then the old job kept calling me up you know oh now wait a minute how does this work and how does this work and and I was spending time and energy they weren't paying me you know because out of some sense of obligation to the world I felt like I had to you know, and I'm a people pleaser, I felt like I had to help them. And then I was suddenly like, what? What am I doing? Right? And then when they would call, I just, you know, no, I cannot help you. <laughs> Bring down the sword. You know, it's a, a relationship, right? That you closed out, you're like, no, we're not together anymore. And then they keep coming around, you know, and you're just kind of like, no, we're not together anymore. But you haven't been saying that, Capricorn, right? And now it's time to say that. 
it's time to say, no, this is done. I can't heal the past. I can't clear out the past when you're still hanging around. Okay, perfectionism. Be content to know perfection as a distant utopian goal, which we journey but never arrive. For some of you, you may feel like, well, if I'm nice to this person or I'm nice to this situation, then maybe in the end I'll get what I want. But it's almost like you have to step into the energy of they need to realize what you mean to them. I think that's the message. You may be trying to be perfect to too many people. You may be trying to not perfect, maybe, but pleasing, you know, like trying to please way too many people in way too many ways. And it's about you stepping into this power of taking back your power and loving yourself, right? Taking out the sword. This is your obstacle right now. So it's like, take out that sword. Tell them who you are. All right. Fall in love with your own story. There you go. It's almost like you're helping other people live their story, but you're not owning your own story. It's like, no. Okay, what do you want your story to read like in the future? You know, I, I, I was doing this volunteering, this community volunteering, and I was talking to another woman that was volunteering there. And she, I, I told her I was trying, I was toying with an idea. And she said, well, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, I know we read that all the time, but this was a person I didn't really even know. And she said to me, well, where do you see yourself in five years? And I really honestly was like, well, I don't know. And she said, well, there's your answer. You have to go figure out where do you want to be in five years? Well, Capricorn, it's like you. Where do you want to be in five years? And how do you get there? Like, what is in your life right now that isn't going to help you get there, right? Like cutting out what isn't going to get you where you want to be in five years or 10 or 50, whatever. <laughs> All right. Or even five months from now, right? It's kind of like, yeah, it's it's about getting your game plan and having your game plan be good for you. And then saying, okay, this is where I'm going. I'm not listening to all of these other people. I'm not trying to please everybody else. I'm just going to please me. And I'm moving forward. Oh, I like this. All right. Well, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And if you did um, enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I do wish you much love and light in this situation and all of your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.